Hey, boo, boo. Let's do this question. Graphing a piecewise function. Graph the function. F of x is equal to 1 half x plus 3 halves. If x is less than 1. Got to have a little fun. So here's our function, right? Can we agree that the, this is a critical value here, right, right here, isn't it? Well, not there. Why is this a critical value here? Why is x, why is x equals 1 a critical value? Well, what happens at x equals 1? It does change, doesn't it? Because if, if x is less than 1, then we use this equation, don't we? If x is greater than, greater than or equal to 1, we use this equation. So here's the thing that's on my mind is this. I'm like, okay, something happens here. So the first thing I'm going to do, frankly, is I'm going to graph that part. So one, graph critical values. So on the first equation, in the first equation, do we actually, does x equals one, does it satisfy this condition? It says if x is less than one. So I put in the one, is one less than one? It's not, so it doesn't really count, does it? <clears throat> but I'm gonna actually graph it anyway. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take f of 1 using this top part of the equation and it would be 1 half times 1 plus 3 halves what's in 1 half times 1 is 1 half isn't it and 1 half plus 3 halves is 4 halves yes so we get the point f of 1 equals 2 right 4 halves is 2 is that all right so I'm going to graph this And right now we're looking at this part of the equation right here. We're looking at this part of the equation right here. Right? That gives us the point. That gives us the point one, two, doesn't it? So maybe one, two. So here's the point one, two. What's true about this? Is it, am I going to... Is it going to go in as a whole, or is it going to go in as a solid dot? Does the piece count or not? It doesn't count, so I'm going to graph it like this. Here's that hole. Make it a little bit smaller. Here's that hole right here, and it's the point 1, 2, isn't it? And then what other x values do count in this equation right here? What other points do count? Does, can we use this, if x is 2, can we use this piece right here? We can? Say that again? Well, we can't, we can't use that piece. So, give me a number that's less than 1. Sure, negative 2. So, take f of negative 2. And f of negative 2 is the same equation up here, Quincy. 1 half times your negative 2, right? Plus 3 halves. Well, what's 1 half times negative 2? It's negative 1, isn't it? And what's negative 1 plus 3 halves? 1 half. So we get, we get f of negative 2 equals 1 half, doesn't it? So we get negative 2, 1 half. And all I'm going to do is connect these dots. Yep. So that's the left side. Now what are we going to do here? What if we use this green part right here, and we graph this, and we graph f of negative 1 over here is, I'm sorry, f of 1, is that what we had? f of 1 here, so we have negative 1 plus 3 is what? 
two. That's the same point, one, two, isn't it? But now that point counts, doesn't it? <coughs> Does that make any sense? Now what do we need? Yeah, some point greater than one, right? Because this says numbers to the left of one, and this says numbers including one and to the right of one, doesn't it? So take a number to the right of one, which is like two. This is the number you want, so f of two. f of two is, right, negative two plus three is what? f of two is one. So we get the point two, one. So, so two, one would be here maybe. Two, one. And our graph should look something like that. Shouldn't it? 